Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tarot Celebrity with your boy Ducky. Today we're going to be doing an updated, I believe, reading on Shehnaz Gil and Salman Khan. Uh, so I do believe I've made a video on them before. Um, so some people have been requesting that I do an updated reading on them. So here we go with a little updated reading on Shehnaz Gil and Salman Khan. So just remember to keep in mind that first and foremost, I'm going to try and pronounce their names the best of my abilities. Uh, my intention is not to disrespect either of them. <clears throat> they're multi they're multi talented and amazing even though I don't know them but I know I'm sure they're amazing um, <clears throat> and so just remember to keep in mind that these videos are for entertainment purposes and that is because we do not have Shahnaz Gil nor Salman Khan here to confirm nor deny that what I'm seeing in the cards and how I'm interpreting the cards is resonating with them or is not resonating with them so just take these videos with a grain of salt and without further ado let me drink some tea because my voice sounds and feels funny and we're gonna get started <clears throat> Woo. okay let's go all right let's see what is their current energy together Shahnaz Gil and Salman Khan whenever they're around one another or near one another what is the energy like between the two of them we got the six of swords or the six of leaves. So immediately there's some moving on. I feel like they're moving on towards better things. Um, hmm. Let's keep going. Also, I'm using my little mini fairy tarot deck. So I'm so sorry that the pictures are so small. <clears throat> we got the seven of swords there's a lot of thoughts there's a lot of men mentalities here between the two of them and we got the ace of pentacles hmm. <clears throat> let me get a sacred earth oracle card representing their combined energy Renewal. Interesting. That makes so much sense with the Six of Swords coming up. You know, the Six of Swords does have that sense of like renewal energy in regards to the six, it talking about moving away from danger, moving away from something that wasn't so great towards something better and yeah, renewed. So there's a sense of renewing their connection, their energy with one another. Um, whenever they're around one another or near each other's vicinity there is a sense of hope is just the the word i'm i'm thinking when i see these cards and renewal because when you're feeling hopeful you're feeling renewed right um so there's that and i feel like <clears throat> uh the seven of swords has a little bit of a dishonest energy to it so I feel like there's a sense of renewed hope here, but there's still a little bit of like thoughts of like, oh no, like, is this person going to be dishonest? Are they going to like try and play mind games or like just say what they think I want to hear type of stuff? Um, but with this Ace of Bells or the Ace of Pentacles here showing up, it, that this is all about a strong, sturdy foundation, right? So... When they're together, they have a strong and sturdy foundation and they're able to like move away past things that have happened in the past or yeah, before. But there is still a little bit of that thought of that doubt of like, can I trust you? Like, are you, like I don't know. There's a little bit of dishonesty going on here. So let's see a little bit more. Let's get some more <clears throat> cards. So. Let's start with Shahnaz Gil. When Shahnaz Gil thinks of Salman Khan, what comes to her mind? We got the sun in reverse. Oh, interesting. Oh, 
and the three of pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> hmm. All right. Now let's flip it. If, when Salman Khan thinks of Shanaz Gil, we got the eight of pentacles. A lot of pentacles showing up here. And the six of cups. Hmm. I think Shahnaz Gill is the one that's still a little bit like apprehensive about this dishonesty. Um, you know, they're moving towards having a better connection, but I feel like Shahnaz Gill is still a little bit apprehensive. She's still like, I don't know about Salman Khan. I don't know. Like, is he being truthful? Is he being honest? Or is he just like telling me what he thinks I want to hear? Um, <clears throat> so, when Shahnaz Gil thinks of Salman Khan, what comes to her mind is like joy and positivity. But the sun card came in reverse. So maybe it took a little bit of a while for them to warm up to one another. Uh, or maybe it took her a while to warm up to him. But ultimately, that joy and that success and that positivity is there when she thinks of Salman Khan. But on the negative, maybe the reason why it took a little bit of a of some time for them to warm up to one another is because she thinks that Salman Khan is a little bit hard to work with. You know, the three of pentacles normally talks about people coming together, bringing each of their individual strengths to the table and working on something to, together. But when this card comes in reverse, there's that lack of being able to work with others. There's that a certain kind of like independence where someone doesn't really want to work with others or doesn't work well with others because they're so independent. So I feel like Shahnaz Gil sees this in Salman Khan. She thinks like, yeah, like it took us a while to warm up to one another or for us to have this joy, this success, this happiness. But, and I think it's because maybe Salman Khan is a little bit difficult to work with or maybe not in general, but it was a little bit difficult for Shahnaz Gil and Salman Khan to work well together um <clears throat> so there's that now when salman khan thinks of shahnaz gil the topic of like skills co comes up with the eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles to me is all about skill building and having a lot of ability so salman khan thinks that shahnaz gil is very skillful she has a lot of uh capabilities a lot of things that she has mastered or that she works towards she's very hard working is kind of what i'm seeing um so that's what i'm seeing but now <clears throat> on the negative too i'm seeing the six of hearts in reverse you know the six of hearts is a memory card it's all about reliving your childhood or having a lot of great memories um, but when it comes in reverse, there's a little bit of like being stuck in the past. So I feel like Salman Khan thinks that Shahnaz Gil, maybe sometimes it's hard for her to move away from the past, to move on from things. But the good thing again with this Six of Swords that I'm seeing is there is that movement away from previous things that have been a little bit difficult or weren't so great. Um <clears throat> So I do feel like maybe it is Shahnaz Gill's energy here that's starting to learn how to move away and get past previous experiences, especially the ones that were not so great or not so negative. Well, yeah, not so positive, rather. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm seeing in regards to Salman Khan's thoughts on Shahnaz Gill. She's very skillful, always working on her her crafts and her abilities, but maybe she has a hard time moving past mistakes or damage or any kind of like, especially unpleasant circumstances from her past. It's a little bit difficult for her to move past those. Um, so <clears throat> now some of y'all wanted me to see if there's some possibilities of them two getting together or something like that you know that's not really my place but i am gonna draw like a card just to see i got the seven of cups hmm seven of cups is talking talks about choices you know in the video 
description for every video that I post, I talk about free will. We all have free will. We all have the choice to do whatever we want in our lives. You know, with what whatever is within our means of control, whatever we have control over, we we have choices we that we can pick from. And that's the thing that's going on here, you know. It's up to them. You know, they got a lot of choices. Both of them do. Like they're I see that both of them are great catches and both of them have a lot of decisions and choices to pick from. So it's up to them. But I really do see here that, yeah, if they choose to, it's there. It's possible. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Swords. So there is a little bit of a restriction, though. I feel like the possibility is there. Like the choice is up to them. But there have to be some like restrictions that have to happen. There have to be some like, like limitations or they really got to talk about, you know, what what is uh, what they're OK with, what are some things that they are not OK with. Um, so there have to be some limitations, some restrictions. Um, so, mm. all right, let's finish off the video with some advice for the both of them. We got the page of pentacles in reverse. The two of swords. There is a humbling mentality here that I'm seeing with that page of pentacles coming up in reverse as an advice card. Fragments. Mm. <clears throat> the advice I'm seeing here with fragments showing up and the page of bells or the page of pentacles. You know, the page of pentacles to me is someone who is very proud of the work they've done. Um, they're proud of every single little project that they have. But as an advice card with this coming in reverse, I feel like the advice for them is to realize that a lot of the things that they have accomplished is due to, oops, my phone just fell, y'all. All right, there we go. Um, So a lot of the things that I'm seeing here as an advice is that they need to be more aware that what they have accomplished isn't just on their own or because of their own thing. You know, there have there are a lot of fragments. There's a lot of things that other people have done in order to help them get to the points where they're at. So the advice between the two of them is to really acknowledge the fragments, the pieces that each one brings, you know, um, not just one person out of them to did all the work or not just one of them created the plan or the idea of something. You know, there's multiple fragments here. There's multiple little bits and pieces that both parties have played a role in that have made an impact on. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. Uh, the advice I'm seeing with this two of swords is that they need to be friendlier to one another, acknowledge each other's uh, ideas that they've had and really verbalize them again with this two of swords. Swords is all about mentality and speech so they really gotta verbalize vocalize out loud um give each other those flowers those uh what's the word i'm looking for what's the word i'm looking for whenever con yeah congratulate one another on the ideas that they've had and what they bring and what they have to offer that way It'll go well for them. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing as their for their reading. Um, again, they're able to move past some maybe dishonest situations that have happened. And I think it's because of like, oh, someone being like, oh, that was my idea, blah, blah, blah. And again, with Shanaz Gil thinking that Salman Khan is a little bit difficult to work with others maybe it's him who has taken credit for some things uh 
or didn't give credit to Shinaz Gill for some of the things that she came up with or what she had a what she played a part in. Um, I'm not sure. That's kind of just what I'm seeing. Let me know what you thought of this video. Feel free to give me a thumbs up if you liked the video or a thumbs down if you didn't like the video. That's okay too. Um, I just ask that if you didn't like it, feel free to let me know why. Give me some constructive criticism. Uh, I just ask that you try and be kind about it. Um, yeah. Uh, remember to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and sexually. Love and respect yourselves and others. And as always, stay hydrated. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye!